friends, uh, this is the second part of my videos about planet 9, planet X or 10. Uh, here was depicted on those account patterns what technology was used. So I spoke that were used very big, huge, active telescopes which used cosmic particles. Uh, I continue with uh, what was here. Okay. What is here? Here we have results of one such telescope. It was actually a cosmic particle pool detector, very huge, but passive with name Milagro, Los Alamos Milagro. And they found also some such hot spots next to the constellation of Orion. Um, it's interesting that the technology is similar to that which was used in those pre-ancient ancient times, maybe 12, 13, 15 or maybe 50,000 years ago. During time when there was another previous very advanced, technologically advanced civilization. So they have got such results, hot spots. Where are those the cosmic rays coming from? Two hot spots. This next to Aldebaran. Okay. Uh, Okay. and uh, from other side of Orion, which is bigger hotspot. Maybe this looks so that this hotspot uh, is actually position of that more distant planet uh, 10. So, we have here hot spots which are actually made from those beams of cosmic particles of accelerated protons which are going from directions next to the constellation of Orion. And on this carpet which was also on that previous part was on that previous window, we have also such view. So those people or who were those, I don't know exactly, were observing area around Orion. We have here Orion, here is also Orion, because I better go with the Bellatrix, but it's uh, overturned like from southern hemisphere. So here we have ecliptic plane and here is Orion. From northern uh, hemisphere we see it uh, behind okay, or below, below ecliptic plane. And here somewhere is also M42 Nebula. Uh, we have here something like three windows, like portals and direction toward Orion. And here is orbit of something or some such path, which is result of observing of motion of body, which is coming to us from aphelia to perihelia. Okay? Observations were done such way. We have here, here such small circular or elliptic patterns, like orbit of our Earth around Sun. Yes, and here we have position on orbit, like spring, autumn, spring, autumn, spring, autumn, spring, autumn, spring, autumn. So we have here also spring, autumn, spring, autumn, spring. No such way. Yes. So after half year, measurements after half years. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 24, maybe 12 years are here. Depiction of 12 years. What is interesting, <laughs> that this telescope in Milagro was used in years 
2000 to 2009. So seven years of measurements. When we look on this, okay, it could be also circa seven years of measurements. I tried to speak more with Gusinis and Brenda Dingas who were mainly responsible on results. If those hotspots, smaller hotspots were measured within particular years or not or so, but uh, not good communication from their side. Actually it was maybe half secret project. But the results are similar. But this is passive telescope was used here and here was used active telescope. Okay. Very interesting. Yes. But this was much more precise than this. Okay. Also from results of Batigin and Mike Brown who are searching for Planet 9 they found, no, especially Brown, Rabinovich, Trujillo, Trujillo, Lee, Javid and those other found many planetoids which have similar orbit like planet 9 and or planet 10. Yes. So look how similar is this and this. Yes. Seven years, okay? Also circa, circa seven years of measurements. Spring autumn, spring autumn, spring autumn, spring autumn, and so on. Yes? Very interesting. Okay? But very secret till now. They don't want to speak okay, about these measurements. What were done in Milagro, Los Alamos. And those were done uh, thanks to or with active telescopes which are very similar or actually are uh, complexes around big pyramids in Giza or also those pyramids were used and many tech and towers and devices which were around that whole complex. So results of Milagro. We can look also on these orbits, but is it only of part of this? Yes, so we have here some indoor planets, this is still orbit of Uranus, Neptune, and here are many orbits of those uh, planetoids behind Pluto. Yes, yes. Pluto, Ixion, Huaumea, Makemake, Orcus. So these are from this side especially of Sun. And here we have Sedna, Eris and those which are much farther. Okay. So when I started my search, it was nearly prohibited to search over there. That there is no planet X, no planet 9 or 10. Uh, Robert Harrington tried to find, he had got very good results, but search after those planets were nearly prohibited. It was said, don't search over there. They uh, made research, they uh, observed the whole sky, nothing found, there is nothing, nothing bigger than asteroid or comet. Don't search over there. I started and I was persecuted for it from side of Slovak, Czech and European and American astronomers. But those the Brown, Rabinovich, Struzzi, Loli, Jewit, done that research, they observed and they found. And the first asteroid was Setna, which was found on place which I recommended for to find. That place, uh, Setna has orbit circa 10,700 or till 13,100 years. So also similar with that planet uh, uh, 10. Not nine, nine has got orbit thousand till two thousand years, and this has got thirteen thousand. Maybe planet uh, uh, ten has got orbit thirteen or 
more probably 26,000 years, which is somehow tied with the precession cycle of our Earth. Maybe with the precession cycle of another planet, but this is not very good. Uh, no, researched or observed. And that sad Sedna uh, was found on place which I recommended for to find uh, where should we look for planet nine. Okay. And we look again on that. Is this? Here are various depictions of those orbits, okay, of planetoids behind Pluto. So we have here orbit Saturn, Uran, Sat Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, okay. Neptune at a few of 5 billion kilometers. And here we have, for example, the Sedna, this is actually somewhere here, Sedna, but Aphelia is here, okay, and another planet which goes quite far away. And those that have some such orientations that uh, it goes to uh, direction is toward Orion or on op directly on opposite side, okay, very somewhere Libra or constellation Libra or so. Why should we think or we should uh, speak so much about planet 9 and planet 10? Because planet 9, uh, with in particular time, causes big cataclysmas on Earth. On the second panel, it's depicted, or second planet, panel from Senmu Tomps, that there were within one precession cycle. Okay, here is this sector, which is 10 years for observation, which is similar to that observation on a, a carpet, okay, which was showed. And here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 15, 16, 16 arrivals of planet uh, 9 to Perihelia. Perihelia should be even among planets, uh, close to indoor planets, maybe where is belt of asteroids, or farther where is uh, Kuiper belt. It depends on motion of that more distant uh, planet 10, which is causing wobbling of orbit of planet 9. Okay? And here was depicted observation 10 years, also circa 10 years of observations on Senmut map, which is similar with that observation on that carpet. 1,300 years BC, BC, okay? When Hatshepsut, Hatshepsut was Pharaoh. Okay. And this is in tomb of, we have vizier, advisor, uh, Senmut. This is constellation Tukan Pao. Octant, okay, triangulum, it makes that hippo statue, sign of southern sky. There was change, so overturn of or shift of earth axis, okay. Last 10 years of observation, when is its pair showing? Last 10 years of observation on orbit of Nibiru, okay. This is the second time. There were big catastrophic events, Uzbekistan, Fergana, which is depicted that uh, there was sun and more phantom 
sons and that uh, even happened during one arrival of Nibiru of planet X which happened circa 30,500 years BC. All ancient, uh, pre-ancient statues, uh, buildings, sites are burnt from one site. Okay? Uh, there had to be very big temperature on Earth. There is also in Chinese legend that uh, Archer I uh, had to shot nine sons from ten sons because people suffered from big heat. Okay? Okay, uh, something or something about the light. Uh, astronaut with disc, data disc, okay. Here is like UFO, okay. It's in Fergana on one stone in uh, one cave okay, in the 1970s found over there. That event, okay, probably the same event like this, okay. This event, what happened here, okay, probably is that same event, what happened here, okay, astronauts, okay, big heat from those bodies, like phantom signs, suns, okay, and he is overheated, we see flames, okay, they had maybe astronauts from Mars, or we don't know, maybe from other side of Earth, or moon, and they tried to survive, but we don't know if they were successful, okay? What we see here, this is the same event, it belongs to the same event, this Here's the depiction how the Nibiru goes to Perihelia. Very dark object, suddenly it's brighter and he's sucking plasma from the sun. Okay? Nibiru closer, sucking plasma from sun. Maybe those are ten suns were there, those are phantom objects. Okay. This is like this is how it looks when we have for example here black hole or neutron star and here is a normal star and that star is sucking plasma okay from another star actually how are those orbits of Nibiru and planet 9 in planet 10. This is still uh, outdoor planet in Neptune. This is orbit of uh, planet 9 and somewhere is planet 10. So circa one to three times farther. Okay. Then this planet. this is very heavy. Maybe when this is gravity uh, border when there is equilibrium between those uh, gravity of this body and of sun so it's one fifth of the distance okay so it means that body is circa one twenty fifth one thirtieth of mass of sun so quite big body okay but orbit is uh, not so prolongated is more circular than this orbit of planet 9 but motion of this body causes that this orbit wobbles wobbles and here is some little longer little shorter and sometimes goes periheria closer to us sometime farther from us okay the same carpet okay the same carpet Uh, this is not only in carpets, okay? Those schemes are used also, for example, in Gothic cathedrals, which <laughs> three portals, 
smaller, bigger, Orion, Orion, uh, this uh, pyramid with Techen Towers, pyramid with Techen Towers. So Gothic cathedrals, the plans are uh, same. How are the plans of uh, plans of that carpet, which is depicted here? Some windows are here, okay. And also this window from carpet is very similar with uh, uh, spires of cathedrals of churches. So very similar. It is the same plans. But were used, maybe they didn't know exactly what is it, but we know that cathedrals, there is astronomy, there is gravity used for construction. Okay, the same the same principles. Okay. And I want to show you more. For example here. Uh, this is the picture uh, from that tomb of Van Dui, uh, Lady or Marquis of Tai, or Dai, and there is funeral banner which is depicting world, underworld, but it's actually orbit of uh, Nibiru. Okay, from that look, how is co going from Aphelia to Perihelia, but it's little twisted, so it's so. Uh, and here it goes among planets, indoor, outdoor, and here is Earth, indoor, here, outdoor, okay, and here it's uh, like zoomed in, okay, magnified, and here are people, people, okay, they are living houses, and they are living here, 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 it goes here, here, okay, inside, inside, the orbit of indoor planets. Here is ecliptic, ecliptic plane, and this all it's actually M42. So direction M42, which is in Orion constellation. And there are those the phantom suns. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here is also moon, sun, and that big catastrophe which happened. Here. here we have those three depictions on carpet M42 is here direction Orion okay of orbit of the Nibiru in this view on the Senmut map next panel not that which was showed with that hippo okay and here is part of that uh, funeral banner of Marquis Atai. Okay. So, 168 BC, 1300 and some years BC, and this is probably 13,000 years or 15,000 years ago or more. There are three main such or four my main sources uh, which I used for looking for planet 9, planet 10. Uh, Senmut astronomical map, one panel is here, okay. Uh, this is second panel. Then there are zodiac, okay, which depicts constellations uh, around uh, southern uh, circumpolar stars, hippo, okay. to come power triangle octans, and there are depicted those uh, all changes what happened, but what was depicted on the second panel, we have also some such big uh, changes, nearly The big change, what is here, is actually that 
which was 30,500 years ago. This change, okay? 50, 30 degrees, okay? 20 degrees change, sudden, sudden here, okay? From those uh, GISP and Vostok projects, skips this two and Vostok project. Sudden, big change. Well, um, statues, uh, buildings, constructions, stones were burned with big heat. And where is Mavang do it? That, uh, that funeral banner, there are also depictions of comets and some such uh, various sorts of comets. So it's very tight with motion of comets which are on similar orbits like that uh, planet 9. Okay especially those long periodic comets with various tails and central part of the bodies. This is an armor palette, but this is even probably which happened maybe arrival of Nibiru to Periheria, but not that one. The most catastrophic, but another one, very big catastrophic too. Also, that like eight sign and it's, it's some hole moving some such way. Okay. When bull is kicking the zodiac, three constellations from zodiac are kicked out. So beginning of precession cycle 3, 13,500 ago and this happened after three constellations, so circa 4,500 BC, okay? And to the end we have the next constellation. Here is sign of Narmer, Nibiru, how it's going from area where is bull, Taurus, okay, ecliptic plane and suddenly there was change, big change because people are killed here, okay. Also, here we have another smaller palette which is showing one even where there is that nightmare and he's beating people okay, during the event of vulture, like sign of flying, okay, and that nightmare is beating people, okay. that comet is beating people, okay. destruction, catastrophe. So, what to say for now? Oh, I was consulting many things and cooperating some particular time with the, also with Brown and those astronomers. Uh, they were trying to find Planet 9, but due to the fact that they haven't got such good telescopes like were used in those ancient advanced times, maybe minimum. 30,500 years ago. So the problem is to find because those the objects are very dim. So I think the best way how to find Planet 9 is to do construction of active telescopes. Only with active telescope we can illuminate those distant objects and we can find them much easier. Maybe with this uh, passive it's problem. Though, though with the Milagro, which used cosmic particles, it uh, maybe was a little possible, but uh, uh, that method was not very precise. Concentrated on some such object, because we have area around Aldebaran, but it's very big area. Okay? 
and if those objects are so dark maybe we can't find them with such technology which is used till now so thank you very much for your attention goodbye